And now I feel good and fresh and ready for the new season. Djokovic is coached by former Slovakian professional Marian Vajda. They've been together since 2006. It was Vajda who suggested that Djokovic move away from Serbia. The coach had become increasingly frustrated by their practice sessions in Belgrade, often being interrupted by Novak's army of fans. Nowadays, Djokovic trains at the Monte Carlo Country Club. He often practices with fellow professional Mario Ancic, who also lives here in Monaco. The Serb and the Croat have been good friends for many years. We have known each other practically since the beginning of our tennis careers. He came on the scene a few years after me, and I've been following his progress closely. He has improved so much over the years. Novak has got enormous ability. His game is excellent. He's got his family right behind him, and he is definitely focused on his tennis. He has the potential to achieve whatever he wants in the sport. Djokovic's parents still live in Serbia, where they run a pizza and pancake restaurant. His two younger brothers are also promising tennis players. Novak lives in Monte Carlo with his girlfriend Jelena. The pair met in Belgrade five years ago and return home to Serbia whenever Novak's hectic schedule allows. In his homeland, Djokovic's popularity is staggering. He's easily his country's most loved sportsman. The Serbian Chamber of Commerce recently named him a Serbia's best personal brand. Along with his compatriots in the women's game, Anna Ivanovic and Jelena Jankovic, Novak has been responsible for a huge tennis boom in Serbia. Later this year, Belgrade will host the country's first ATP Tour event, after Djokovic and his family bought the license of a tournament previously held in the Netherlands. I'm very pleased that we've managed to organize an ATP tournament in Belgrade. It will take place in May 2009 and will give the tennis fans in Serbia and the surrounding areas the opportunity to see professional tennis up close. They'll be able to see what it's all about and support the players from our country. Away from tennis, Novak's big passion is soccer. His father was a professional footballer, and Novak believes that he could have made the grade too. His favourite team is Red Star Belgrade, but since he's been living in Monte Carlo, he's adopted AS Monaco as his club. On the day that Transworld Sport was in town, Novak was guest of honour at a Monaco game, and was invited by the president of the club to kick off proceedings. Djokovic's likeable persona, not to mention his impersonations of other players, has made him a firm favourite with many fans of tennis around the world. I believe that with a smile on your face and with a positive outlook on things, then your life will be longer and easier. That's how I'm trying to go about things anyway. Two thousand and nine looks set to be a big year for Novak Djokovic as he continues his bid to loosen Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer's stranglehold on the men's game. All but one of the last fifteen Grand Slams have been won by either Federer or Nadal. The one exception was Novak's triumph at the Australian Open twelve months ago, and in just a few days' time, the twenty-one-year-old Serb will begin the defence of his title. The Australian Open has a special atmosphere. It's a great place to play, and there's always a good spirit there. In that part of the world, there are lots of different people from all different cultures, all living together. The fans there are great. They all come out and support the Australian Open, as it's the most important tournament in the first part of the season, and I'm ready for it.